I will talk about sponsor of this video Cloudways fast simple and reliable cloud hosting platform you can host phenomenal websites on a managed platform built by digital agencies developers and e-commerce businesses that are packed by 24 7 into 365 support so we will talk about uh, different plans of this hosting platform so here are the plans so the services offered by cloudways is from digital digital uh, Various ways, different platforms like DigitalOcean, Walter, Linode, AWS, Google Cloud. So you can choose any any plans from here, basis on your uh, your requirement. So here are the the plans. You can go to this part of this page and you can select your services. And you can also try it for free. Register Cloudways today. Is we have placed a link in the description. Happy hosting. Uh, no SQL, uh, DynamDB from the uh, Amazon Web Service. So uh, first, you have a you need have you you have you need to download two plugins. So first plugin is gonna be a DynamDB plugin or any other uh, AWS plugin uh, include the DynamDB. And the second uh, plugin is the JSON Blueprint. This this plugin is uh, is free and you can download it from the marketplace and this is very useful and. Alright, so let's get start. So first, I just created an actor and I drag it uh, into the level. So we're gonna run something after the actor uh, begin place. So right in the actors, uh, I have my begin play. So let's do something after the begin play. So I'm gonna go back to the my website, my AWS Management Console, and I'm gonna search DynamDB table, DynamDB uh, Dynamo. All right, this is DynamDB. So uh, here on the right side, and you have uh, there is a tables button, and oh, this is my previous examples. I'm just delete them. Okay, and created a new table. So this table name I would just say uh, player info. Player info. All right, and here is a uh, partition key. We we must have a person key. Uh, we have must enter uh, the person key. The person key is used to um, is used to uh, index or you know search you know in QDU and if you put the a person key it will return the result any sort of stuff and I will explain it later. So we just uh, created a person key first. So this I will just say player index. Alright. And the type is gonna be string type. We, we basically we have three type is first is binary type, uh, number type, and string type. But right now, for now, we can we just use a string type. And other thing, we leave defaults and create table. All right. So just wait a second, and if you refresh, a refresh, you can see it, your your table is activate. So we click into this table. So this is the table that we can add something or delete some things. So here is item preview. Uh, you can watch, you can see, you can look every item that you have in the table. So let's just create a table. Uh, let's just create an item. So here is create an item. And the player index is the parting key. We're going to put some things. So for example, uh, it says, I'm just creating a, a, a player so its index is one it's just one uh, and add some attributes so for example I add I add a screen so for example this player name uh, the player name I would just say it's Steve as string type and we can also add a number type just call it uh, player age all right for example is 17 and you know and also add some new attributes for example an, another string type so this is going to be player address uh, us okay so this is a uh, example for creating item all right and now you have an item in your table so this is uh, this is part and key and the rest of them are the uh, are the actually the attributes. So you use this use this part and key and get uh, get its uh, attributes. So this is uh, that this is one of the uh, usage of the part and key. 
and also we can create it another item so for example this is a uh, player index 2 and I add some new attributes for example it's so I add some new attribute for example uh, I add player players school right Player school I just said high school And you know it, uh, and also um, player, player, uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> so I'll just say player address. So we can change another to another one. For for example, I just type a CN. All right, and also we click create item. So you see, if you put the same uh, attribute that you have uh, for another index, it will has it just look like this. Uh, but if if you if the so basically the create item, so it also increases some the attributes. So if there is like for example, if, if my player index two and one, they also have the the same attributes player address and. Uh, they're not going to create a one but if for example if the player high school uh, if the high school if you just create a player attributes called player high school and you can also you see uh, so for player index one it doesn't have any information about player high school because we didn't set it we didn't create it they we didn't do create it, the attributes value when we creating the player index one so we just look at this is very simple and for creating the items so right now we're doing this uh, in the Unreal 4 blueprint so after begin play I want to create some items and uh, trans and we will see it right in the table so first you need to do is to create it a DynamoDB object so you actually get its credentials so for the credential you need to put your asset key ID and the secret key ID so if you don't know how to get your as a key ID and as a key ID, uh, you can watch some other documents or any other videos. Okay, so because this is very simple, I'm, I'm not gonna go over this in this right now. All right, and here is also we need the client configuration. Oh, this is make client configuration. All right, so here is you have to notice that because you have to set your region correctly. Uh, because my region is US East 1 and I put my US East 1 uh, right in this table uh, here is the region you're gonna put your region because this is very important uh, so just just on the you know right top side you can see your uh, region name and just copy your region name and put it here all right and after this I'm going to create it and variable oh, I have already created one so I'm just use this variable Okay, so I'm going to store this written value. It will return an object, and that's how uh, we actually we can you know we can do some things. So for example, I I just uh, so I'm gonna do update item. So this update item basically can do many functions. It it can create, it can uh, change, it can delete. Uh, it it's very useful, and so. For now, I'm just wanna create some items here. So how about uh, we're gonna make some uh, make the update item request. So for the table name, uh, this player table player info, uh, just put it here. So all right, and also we need the key. The key is basically the for the pattern key because we wanna add a new rule for a new item. So the the key it cannot be one of the one or two you can set it for example it's three all right so how we're we gonna put the key here so first because this is the map type we're gonna make map make map and for the this one key zero you're gonna put player index a uh, player index is a name because this player index is my uh, person key name so this is my parting key and it's a string type so here is the volume the volume is a JSON string so that means that you have to make a JSON object and transfer it to a JSON string so how are we gonna do this 
uh, first thing we need to do is because we have the plugin, we have the plugin called uh, JSON Blueprint. So that's how uh, it's very easy to make a JSON string. So first you need to do, you need to get a JSON make. And here you need a JSON make file. And for the field name, uh, you're going to put a letter, a big letter S, capital S. Why? Because because this player index is a string type so you must declare uh, its type and this is how we're gonna put for the file name it just the dynamdb ask us to do this all right and then we put the value here so this is a json make string so we're gonna put three all right so that's how we're gonna put the value and the file name is gonna be the string type and the return value and you're gonna to string all right, and this is uh, this is one of the JSON string, and here is the DynamDB attributes value, and here is a JSON par parameter. Connect to them, and now you have you set your the person key. All right, so let me just uh, move this a little bit. So it looks like this. Uh, you need to put a value uh, for a player index, but your value cannot be uh, directly uh, three. So if we don't use uh, if we don't use uh, JSON, it will look like this. This is same. Uh, so at basically the this one, this one, this function will return a result like this. So you you need to put JSON here. So for the file, it's gonna be a string type. It's gonna be your value type, uh, and on the right side, it's gonna be your value. So uh, if you want to easier put anything, you can just uh, make a string like this, and you can put your variable here, or you can put whatever you want, and you don't you don't write things like this. This is uh, you know uh, very difficult to to see, and you know. So we use this plugin, and very nice. Okay, and here is update expression. So actually we set some the we set some the attributes, but let me just delete delete all of them because we don't use it anymore delete all right delete item okay and right now uh, we're gonna set uh, in right in the update expression we're gonna set set what set clear name the print name equals an alias so why this is gonna be the alias because uh, we have to set we, we have to use expression attributes values here so here is make map uh, but the interesting thing is you cannot just uh, put the player names here you cannot put player names here you have to use an alias so set player names equals an alias this alias must start with a column so column after the column you can put whatever you want so if the form is like the form is a uh, column plus their name so on the expression attributes value because right now we're adding some values so set player names we're going to use alias column player name so i'll explain later why we have to use alias but right now just follow what i'm doing so for the value it's also required us to use a json type but why we have to use a JSON? Because right here it doesn't know uh, the what what kind of the type is is for the uh, attributes. So we have to use the JSON to set the attributes type. So uh, all right, and and also we need JSON make JSON make, and here is JSON make file. And uh, this is string string name. The file name file name is gonna be one because we want to set my player name is gonna be a string type. So we have must set the file name to capital S. If you want to set your uh, attributes to number type, you're gonna put your uh, capital N. 
if you want to set your uh, attributes value to boolean you can set your file name to capital b all right and for the volume you can do the json make string all right so for the volume uh, i'll just say my player name so player name i'll just say uh, steve steve and after the return volume after the result of the json make file you're gonna transfer it to string so we use to string and we can connect to string. So if if you don't familiar with JSON, I will just write the right form of the JSON form. So it will look like this. It look like this. But uh, right now we just uh, you know we use this plugin instead of writing this form, alright, and transfer it to string. You know because you can put a variable here you can put whatever you want here and you don't need to write form like that every single time all right so okay so this is uh easy form so we have set my player name equals an alias and we set alias uh set alias volume so all right so there is this is a latent function so after it's callback complete and we're gonna make a branch so this branch will say if it goes unsuccess, we're gonna print the error message because it always uh, return error message if it goes unsuccess. All right, and we compile, save, and make sure you drag your actor to here because so it will run. If I just click play, it actually it returns nothing. It means it's success. So let's go back to website and when we click refresh. You see, it has an item here. So player index is three and player name is Steve. Uh, so actually you can see and uh, we set my key uh, is three and I set my volume. It's Steve. All right. If I change my key to one, what we're gonna? Oh wait, wait a second. Let's just keep the same. And if I what what if I just change my volume to Steve two? All right, and if I click play, and after we go back to website and I refresh, you see the volume of the player name is just updated. So I will just add some add more attributes. I want to add more attributes. So for example, so here you just see uh, we have set player names equal to an alias, but if we don't use alias, uh, if we just set player name here. It won't do anything. It, it just it will give you an error. So you must have an alias after you set your after your attributes. So equal alias player name. So after the column, you can put whatever you want. Actually, it doesn't matter what name you have, but you must start with a column. Okay. So on the attribute uh, expression attributes values, you you can you have to put the same alias that you set uh, in the update expression so column plus player name all right and uh, we can add, add more attributes we can add more attributes so for example set player name after this uh, you use comma and uh, I just call it player age I equal a column I just said you can put whatever you want so I will put one two three okay so add a pin here and you know we're going to put plus uh one two three oh it's column one two three all right uh i'm just lazy so i'll just copy one all right so uh plus one two three is per age but uh, this time i want that this attribute to a number type so which means that uh the for the field name we're gonna set it to n Alright, and here the JSON mix string. I'm gonna put 18. Alright, and I'm gonna click play. So it returns nothing. It means there's no errors. So you see, uh, so you see, and we have we have more attributes here. If that if it that has a attribute, it will create it an attribute. But if it if it has an attribute, it will overwrite its volume right inside of the attributes. So play age is 18. That's totally uh that's totally nice.
all right so for now what about if we, i change the key here so volume if it's one if i click play what's gonna be happen so it has a at it at a new item here so it basically if you have a same key here and you set different volume what will do you will overwrite its attributes but it doesn't it doesn't have the uh, player index in the table it will create an item start with the player index uh, with the index that you want but so for example if i if i just you know here if i just if i just set the key for two because right in the table there's no player index uh, with two but if I'm just uh, update item uh, with a key to, so after I play and stop it, and after refresh, it increase a new item. So what about uh, is if I still set my key uh, to two, but I change some values here. For example, this is no longer Steve two; it's gonna be Steve three, and the player age is gonna be uh, it's gonna be twenty eight. All right, and after I click play, and what will gonna happen? It didn't create any item. It will just overwrite its its volume. So after I refresh, uh, you see the player age and player name. It just uh, it just overwrite it by my settings. Okay. So this is update item. So okay. So I think everything is fine here. So right now, let me just uh, comment those. So I'll just call it created created or uh, update update items okay this is the this is update and created items functions so let's let's handle uh, delete functions uh, let's handle some delete all right so create a item db table we're gonna use, still use this object and delete delete item So here is delete item request. Make delete item request. So right in the table name, we have to put my uh, put our table name. So I'm gonna access this table because I'm gonna delete some item right in this table. Okay, I put my table name here, and for the key, for the key, what are you gonna put? For the key, it's same. It's it's actually it's same as update item. So I'm just copy here. Just copy. Because it's totally same, nothing different. It just won't get its key. So for example, I'm going to delete this one. I'm going to delete the, the all the things start with player index one. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do a string. I'm gonna do a JSON object and make sure it's JSON type, a uh, string type, and the value is gonna be one. All right. So after this, you just set your key. So nothing you could do, nothing you you have to do. And after uh, delete item callback complete, you have to print your error message. So you, I think it's better you print error message because sometimes it doesn't work, but you don't know what actually happened. Alright. So let me just click play. So it doesn't happen. It written nothing. So it means it's success. So I'm going to refresh. So you see the items uh, start with player index one. It just deleted. Uh, it's no longer exist. So what about uh, I'm just uh, change it to two. So it will also uh, delete two. delete this one, delete this item. So after I after I click play. So you know, after refresh, so the, the item start with player index two is just gone. Okay, so this is how delete item works. So for now, let me just comment this to delete item. Item. Okay, and you know, let me just drag it out of other place. So for now, we just set so many volume. We update, we delete item in the table. So what about if we were, we want to get some volumes uh, from the tables? And this is very easy. So let me. I'm gonna just uh, uh, duplicate one. So this is gonna be one, and you know, create item. And also, uh, I just make make more item here. 
so this is two so I'm going to set a uh, different volume there so for example this is 99 and this is Steve 1 and this is gonna be Steve 2 oh wait this is already Steve 2 and I set this I set this to Steve 3 alright okay so let's go back to Unreal 4 so this is DynamDB object and here I'm gonna do QLU QLU and you also you need to do the QLU request the table name you know what's the table name is my table name player info And for the select, actually, you're gonna put, you're gonna select uh, all the all attributes. Alright, and here is key conditions. So we wanna we wanna get the value for the player item player index one. So what are you gonna do here? You need to do uh, an alias. So you're gonna do uh, this is player index, uh, player index, player index equals an alias play index so actually you can see it uh, for the update item if we want to set our key we don't use alias but if we want to set some values we must use uh, our alias but for now uh, for this key here uh, we have to use alias all right and for the expression attributes value i'm gonna make map So make map here uh, for the key zero. Uh, it's gonna be uh, my alias name, player index, and for the volume actually you're gonna do a JSON form, and this is a very easy. You need JSON make, JSON make, JSON make, make. Uh, no, it's JSON make filed. And the field name I'll just put string uh, capital S and for the volume uh, make this are make string so I'll just delete uh, delete this item uh, this portion key start with one and I'm gonna set it one and after the return volume uh, to string alright and for the volume zero make DynamDB attributes volume and connect all right this is uh it's wonderful so after the complete success uh if it goes unsuccess so i will just print the error message so all right so if, but uh, if it goes success i'm going to uh, get the q result so for the item it basically it will return multiple uh sometimes it will just return uh multiple volumes but for for now for, for now uh, this situation it will just return one it just return one item so get zero and if we what we're gonna do we're gonna print string print string to see what actually it will return so i'll just make the duration longer to 50 Alright, that's totally fine, and I am gonna click play. So it will return a JSON form. So basically, it then return the specific value. It will just return on the items, uh, but uh, make it to a JSON type. So this is totally a JSON object. So let me just uh, take a snapshot here. So you see, let's call this, and so you see. Uh, this is we just search uh, for search for the key one so let's say uh, if it's same so here is player age the player age is one is 99 this is totally fine and also there is a player index it's one it's a string type it's one yes and the player name is steam one all right it's steam one all right this is totally the same so so here the problem is uh, this is JSON type. So how we get the specific specific value? For example, I want get 99. I want get player age, but it will return the JSON form. I, I just want to get the 99. How we can do that? 
so this is very easy uh, so what we're gonna do here because it will return the JSON form so right now we have to use the the plugin the JSON the JSON blueprint plugin so first this is a JSON object string we're gonna transfer it to JSON object all right so we won't get for example I'm going to get my player name so what am I gonna do because this one is a uh, JSON this one is actually a JSON object, so it includes a file name and its volume. So, so we're gonna get its file, file, file name. So, uh, to JSON volume, to JSON volume because you know this is a JSON volume, but uh, this one is actually JSON volume. If we use a player name, it will return after the column, after the column it has. So it is like this, the player name will return this one. So we're going to get my player name, player name. So we get its volume, but actually this is a JSON volume. So it's JSON volume, we have to transfer it to the type that we want to get. But uh, here you find actually this one is also a JSON object. So it just looks like a JSON object includes JSON object and also include another JSON object. So so we have to transfer my volume to a uh, JSON object. To JSON object. So and also we to so you see uh, this uh, the capital S is also a is also a you know it's a form. So this is a file name and this is volume. So what am I, am I gonna do is to to JSON volume and this is we're gonna type capital S and finally we get a Steve one Steve one. So I'm gonna transfer it to JSON to string to string. All right. So we're gonna print we're gonna print string and make it longer to 15. And connect to this to see if it's if it's Steve one. So we click play, and you know it will return Steve one. This is totally good. And also, for example, if we want to get player age, and um, this is actually the it's a uh, same process. Let's change the player name to uh, player age. And uh, here is two volume. This is capital S. You're gonna change it to a capital N because it's a number type. And you're gonna print play. It's 99. All right. This is actually is totally same. So hmm, I think everything is done here. So I'm just get all the volumes I think. So I'm just copy this one. Uh, connect to this and make another print string but uh, this is different parameter so I though this one is per name yes it's per name and you know, we all know it's a string type so we put capital S and let's go so it will return the player name and player age. This is very awesome. So let me just comment, comment, comment this. So this is going to be a uh, QLU. So the usage of the QLU is just written the value for the index that you put. Thank you.